Welcome back to Time Now 613. Right now, the mahogany fire near Mount Charleston has burned at least 5,000 acres, and we do have video here of when the fire first started. You can see the flames in the hillside there and just that big cloud of smoke covering the entire area. Evacuations and road closures are in place right now as crews continue to try to get this thing contained. And we have 13 Action News reporter Kelsey McFarland live right now with more information for those of you who may have been ordered to leave your home. Kelsey? Yeah, Kalina Lee Canyon residents that live just past this road blockage here were told to leave their homes last night and head for safety. I want to show you some of these conditions this morning. Uh, the smoke continuing this morning. I can certainly feel that as wind and uh, those weather conditions have calmed. I just talked to a forest service official who says they are feeling more optimistic about the firefight today and they may be able to use aircraft and start those drops shortly this morning. They just started their morning briefing, so we will likely learn more. Uh, once they are done with that meeting, uh, but uh, he says that acreage and containment number is the same. Now, as far as those evacuees, Red Cross of Nevada will be helping those evacuees at Bill Bray Elementary School. That's off of the 95 and Sky Canyon. Now, right now, the evacuation center is closed, but they'll open their doors again by 8 a.m. In the meantime, if you need assistance, you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS. Now, this is a good reminder to have an evacuation kit ready to go, especially if you live nearby the mahogany fire or really anywhere that's vulnerable to a brush fire. That kit should include medication you need, blankets, hygiene supplies, and a digital copy of important documents you have. Uh, and if you have children, you'll want to bring diapers, formula, and toys. Now, of course, with most local fire departments assisting in the firefight, Metropolitan Police Department handling the evacuations. We'll keep you updated on both of those throughout the day on air and online. Reporting live, I'm Kelsey McFarland, 13 Action News. All right, Kelsey, thank you so much. Want to head over to just Justin Bruce right now joining us live from home. Now we know that the wind speeds and those gusts yesterday were really strong. We heard it all night long. We've seen videos of trees falling over. Obviously now this fire. So what are we dealing with today with regards to the wind speeds and also the air quality? Because I can imagine that's going to be tough for some people with with asthma. Yeah, and the the wind both the direction, Kalina, and the intensity or the speed of that breeze does impact the air quality. Uh, we are waking up to breezes around 10 to 15 miles per hour. It's interesting to see temperatures up in the Spring Mountains way down, uh, cooling off into the low 40s and highs in the location of the fire this afternoon should be limited to the low 